New at four, Leewood Church is discussing the Holocaust tonight, five days after opponents of vaccine mandates compared their issue to the genocide at Auschwitz. KMBC 9's Michael Mahoney reports on the recent controversy that started in Topeka. When Duran Duffy wore a Star of David in Topeka as he testified against vaccine mandates, he told the hearing this. It's not meant to be offensive. It's not meant to be uh, controversial. It's meant rather to be a reminder. I feel very comfortable saying that you are being outwardly and blatantly anti-Semitic. And no amount of I don't wish to be offensive is going to cover that. An exhibition of the Nazis Auschwitz death camp is now at Union Station. Some members of Pastor Adam Hamilton's church have taken the tour and they're now studying the camp's mass murders in a modern context. It's interesting how easy and subtly, you know, anti-Semitism sneaks into our culture. In a new survey from the American Jewish Committee, one in four Jews feel their targets. Some no longer openly display symbols of their faith. And a 2020 FBI report shows hate crimes rising. Many of the religious incidents aimed at Jews. Well, we know that hate crimes in general and acts of bigotry and discrimination in general are highly underreported. Duffy said America is not an authoritarian state, but he worries the country is headed there. Duffy says he was not trying to be controversial. Geller, however, says what he was doing was practicing Holocaust distortion, which she says leads to Holocaust denial. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. The Church of the Resurrection is having a round, round table discussion on the Auschwitz exhibition tonight at 630. And you can join it virtually by going to the website on your screen. We have new details now on the coronavirus pandemic. States are reporting more cases as the weather gets colder and it drives more people indoors. 20 states, including Kansas and Missouri, have reported a 10% increase in hospital admissions over the last week. And 27 states have seen a 10% jump in cases over the last two weeks, Kansas and Missouri among them. Positive Positivity rates are also trending up in Kansas. 8.5% of COVID tests are coming back positive. In Missouri, it's 8.7%. The American Academy of Pediatrics is updating its COVID testing guidance for children. Fully vaccinated kids who've been in close contact with someone who has coronavirus should be tested five to seven days after the exposure. Unvaccinated children need to get tested immediately after learning of the exposure. This aligns with the CDC's recommendations for fully vaccinated people. There's a new federal lawsuit against vaccine rules for employers. The Missouri Farm Bureau and other companies are suing the Biden administration, calling a mandate unconstitutional. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener has the update. This vaccine mandate fight is most likely headed for the U.S. Supreme Court. The Missouri Farm Bureau, along with other companies, joined about 30 other lawsuits against the Biden administration. The administration's rule says companies across the country with more than 100 employees would have to implement weekly testing if their employees are not vaccinated against COVID. That's something the Farm Bureau president says harms businesses. We don't believe this approach is the right approach because it uh, impacts our employees and their individual health decisions. This all comes as the Biden administration has said not enforcing the rule would cost lives. A U.S. appeals court in Cincinnati will now decide on the cases. Matt Fleener, KUBC 9 News. Now, OSHA announced Tuesday it would not enforce the new vaccine mandate while that federal legislation is still pending.